probably the most tragic piece uh, uh, in the in the relationship with children was during my time of living in Norway House in the church, working there as an ordinand. I encountered something that I uh, struggle with uh, at this point, um, and that was the teaching around baptism, infant baptism. In Norway House, the history of mission is that there has been a, a Catholic mission, an Anglican mission, and a Methodist United Church mission in that village. And the teachings brought to the village by the churches was that unless a child was baptized, if they were to die before baptism, they would not have a place in glory in, in heaven. They would not enter the holy place. And so that teaching is still alive in many villages. That baptism of the infant is a purification ceremony offered by the churches that brings salvation possibility to that child, the only way. And so what happened? When Norway House had three missionaries, three churches, and the story I heard when I arrived there was, whichever missionary had the fastest dog team could get to the house where the child was born earliest and baptize the child, would claim that child as a member of their community, of their community of faith. And so you had family lists in Norway House um, where some children were baptized in the Catholic Church. Some of them were Anglican. If they were eight children, there might be three Anglicans, three Catholics, and two Methodists because the Methodists didn't have very good dogs. Uh, they couldn't always get there first. But you see the competition that developed, the idea of mission as being a place of claiming life rather than affirming and celebrating life. Um, and that still impacts communities today. I, I'm tragically uh, aware of what the churches have been doing and are doing to divide us in community. And when the church apologies were made, I would just say that the place that they were weakest in their apologies was their apology for dividing us into little camps of various denominational connections tied to some denomination that claimed limited truth rather than to the holistic understanding of the creator's willingness to accept all life as sacred. So, so I think we have some theological work to do. We have some legal work to do. We have a lot of justice making to do if our children are to find life in wholeness. And I'm so glad to be uh, uh, venting in this way to all of you because I, I think there's possibilities of change. I think we are all aware of the spirit that brings us together. So I encourage us to, uh, to engage in good conversation about our unity and our relationships under treaty for the sake of those who are yet unborn.